The owners of San Onofre say the risk is low. Southern California Edison says a closed nuclear plant has a lower risk than one in operation. The company has shared this with local and federal agencies, resulting in changes in how any possible emergency accident might be handled. The San Onofre plant sits within a couple hundred yards of one of the busiest freeways in the United States. Shut down in 2012, 3.6 million pounds of radioactive waste now sit in storage at the facility. 50 canisters of radioactive leftovers from fuel burned before the plant was closed are already in storage. The rest will be moved next spring, placed in steel canisters near San Onofre State Beach. If you look at the desk of our, of our operator. It's here where any possible emergency evacuation caused by nuclear waste at San Onofre would play out. It's home to the Earthquake Proof Transportation Management Center, run jointly by the California Highway Patrol and California Department of Transportation. A place for emergency officials to see what is happening on the access routes in and out of San Diego. Well, it's actually a probable risk to our entire transportation corridor in Southern California. Nina Babiar is a transportation expert, says she believes they will be witnessing a massive gridlock if there is an incident at San Onofre. You have to keep in mind, it's not like our fires. You can't see this, you can't smell it. With winds in the region moving west to east, inland from the plant, another major transportation corridor, Interstate 15, could also be exposed. Something that would only make the situation worse, Babiar says, possibly forcing officials to isolate San Diego from the rest of the state and Mexico as well. It's not just cars that travel through this corridor, though. The region's primary north-south freight and passenger line runs along the coast near San Onofre. Having to evacuate the millions of people who call the area home would be a nightmare scenario, says Charles Langley, a critic of the nuclear waste storage plans. It would be absolutely paralyzing. These are jugular vans for our entire Southern California economy. But not a realistic scenario, the plant's owners, Southern California Edison and sdg and &E, argue. They say the chances of a radioactive incident at San Onofre are lower since the plant's reactors have been turned off. The United States Nuclear Regulatory Commission agrees, telling San Diego County Supervisor Ron Roberts, quote, there is a decreased risk to the public. Because of the lower risk, the NRC reduced SCE's role in responding and planning for a possible emergency at San Onofre. They're not responsible for what happens beyond the boundary and the limits of the San Onofre nuclear power plant. He and other critics argue there is a need for continued contributions by SCE to assist with region-wide safety planning. Right now, SCE is responsible for emergency planning related to the plant grounds. Outside the plant, San Diego, Orange, and Los Angeles counties bear the responsibility for planning and preparing for any potential nuclear emergency. In addition, a letter obtained by NBC7 Investigates, the NRC says it no longer requires the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, to monitor, review, or report on off-site emergency preparedness. How could we possibly have lost the emergency planning support and response of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA is the primary federal agency responsible for preparing and responding in emergencies. NBC7 Investigates found a letter from California's Office of Emergency Services to FEMA. It said, quote, rather than abruptly end this program, we urge FEMA and continue working with Cal OES, the NRC, and San Diego County. The request was denied. When asked about this request, the NRC told NBC7 Investigates the request was, quote, between the state and FEMA. Now the only emergency planning and response we have is San Diego County Emergency Services. The San Diego County Office of Emergency Services tells NBC7 Investigates the agency is up for the task. They've been conducting Federal Emergency Management Agency evaluated San Onofre drills for the past three decades. To help pay for emergency response training and equipment, county officials are asking the NRC for funds to be provided for as long as the nuclear waste remains. Southern California Edison says it plans to move all of the used nuclear fuel into dry cask storage by 2019. They say decommissioning of the plant will cost $4.4 billion, one third of that funded by utility customers. The next community meeting about the nuclear waste storage is November 10th.
I'm Mari Payton for NBC7 Investigates.